What is up YouTube, it's your boy Burgess. In this video, I'm gonna talk to y'all about how to deal with mental illness in the military. Mental illness is very serious and a lot of people that don't have those type of problems don't really look at it as serious or don't really understand it when another person is going through it and they won't really understand it unless it happened to them. It's very serious, especially in the military because you're away from your family, you can get deployed for a couple of months and you won't really have time to talk to them. And it's like boot camp all over again, but a longer version. Cause you can, you can get deployed for four to five months, even longer, you know? And, 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 and I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen to some people that I talk to every day at work. And it has affected them. They were just talking, talking to me about how, how this changed their lives and how they haven't been themselves since before. The military, because the military comes with a lot of sacrifices. It has a lot of benefits to it, but it has a lot of sacrifices to it. You know, when you, when you, in a, like, say, like, in a civilian job, you know, you just work your shift. After that, you get off and go do whatever you want. In the military, you work, you get off. They can call you to do some shit after your, after your shift. And you know what? You're going to have to do it. Ain't no call, ain't no, you know, really calling off and, you know, you can't and you can't just quit, you know, it's the military. You can't just quit, you know, and a, a, a lot of other stuff, you know. It, it, being away from your family, you know, you could be stationed on the other side of the world from your family. And a lot of people, you know, that lives with their families are like, oh, I can't wait to get out of this house. I can't, I can't wait to, I can't wait to leave, you know. And they don't really understand, you know, they don't really realize what it's really like to be away from home for a long time. And I'm one of those people. When I was at home, I'm like, man, I can't wait to get up out of this house, man. I can't, I can't wait to leave, man. Can't wait to get up out of, out of Cleveland, man. Cleveland is just, I'm, I'm tired of Cleveland, man. Do not leave. I got through boot camp. I wasn't really thinking about home at the time. I mean, I miss my family and stuff. But when I went home on vacation, you know, for those two weeks, you know, just, you know, living, kind of, kind of, you know, getting my, uh, living my old lifestyle back in Cleveland, you know. Having fun, you know, parties, you know, seeing my friends every day and stuff, kicking with my friends, and and I missed, I I I, I haven't been able to do that, you know, in months, and it just, you know, it felt good back home. I never looked so forward to to going back to Cleveland. It's it's crazy. I didn't think I'd look forward to it like that. You know, got back and kind of got back to my, you know, my old routine and, and life before the military. And then that day came, you know, it just that that whole that 14 days flew. I had to go back. The day came where I had to be back in, I don't think I'm allowed to say where I'm at, but where I had to be back to my to my duty station, you know, it just, it kind of hit me like, damn, man. You know, and I, I, I just, you know, it just, it just hit me. Like, it, it hurt me like, damn, man, I'm leaving my family again. And, and I ain't gonna come, I ain't gonna be able to come back home for another, you know, five to the video. I, I stopped recording, somebody called me and I was in the middle of talking, that shit is, so annoying, man, because now I got to get back to what I was saying. And I kind of forgot exactly what I was in the middle of saying. But I was living my, um, when I was in Cle when I was back in Cleveland on vacation, you know, I got back in the groove of, you know, life before the military, kick, you know, kicking with my friends and having fun, you know, having fun, you know, just having a good time, you know, going, to, going out to eat every day, you know, you know, my family or friends, you know, you know, just kicking it, just living my life, and then it, those 14 days flew by so fast, and that day came, and I, bro, I had to go back to my duty station. I'm like, damn, man. You know, it just, it, it really hit me hard, especially when I got back, because I ain't really got, I ain't got family over. My family, like, eight hours away from me, and that shit just hit me, you know, it kind of messed me up for a couple of days, you know, man. Yeah, y'all, you know, it just, I had, it took me a minute to, to, you know, to get back used to this, you know, this new lifestyle, you know, I, having to get used to, you know, just, you know, talking to my family just over the phone, and I had to get used to it all over again, you know, so that's not as easy as, as it sounds, a lot of people just like, oh, yeah, I can't wait, really, you know, before they actually, you know, leave their hometown, you know, for the military, they, they're like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to leave, I can't wait to get out of here, man, I'm tired of this place and shit. And then they leave and they gone for months at a time and got to adjust to a whole new lifestyle. It's like, damn, I'm, damn, I miss it. Damn, you know, damn, what was I thinking? You know, it's kind of like, 
kind of like that because you're never going to realize how much you're going to miss home until you leave for a couple of months, you know. But like I was saying, you know, mil um, mental illness is very serious. Um, in the military, too, I talk to people every day. I talk to people all the time that's, that goes through stuff. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not about to tell their business. But basically, they tell me about how this, the military changed them a lot, you know, how they haven't been there, you know, been themselves for for a long time, you know. Because when you when you go on a deployment, you're away from your hometown. Or I mean not hometown, but you're away from your you, you out to sea with no service, no phone service, and then most of the time you're gonna be too busy to even try to contact your people. And those deployments gonna be like four to five four to five months, even longer. You know, you could be on a nine month nine month deployment. You could be going on that like next week and Chances are you're not really gonna have time to talk to your family. You know, you go be out on the ship. And a lot of people that before they actually get to the Navy, and then I was one of these people. I, I didn't really think about what would it be, what would it be like to live on a ship, or how ship life would be. You know, and I didn't think about that up until I actually got to my ship. And I'm like, damn, this what I'm, this where I'm gonna be at for the next couple of years. You know. And we, we you don't really think about that in boot camp, like how actually being on the ship is going to be like. You just thinking about getting through boot camp, graduating, being a sailor. But you don't understand what it's like until you actually get there and you working there every day. But, um, the yeah, mental illness is, um, it's serious. You know, we got people in the, in the military that, you know, committed suicides and, you know, suicide rates going up. People that, uh, are suffering, um, with d the depression. You know, because it's not like a regular job where you can just quit. Like you sign a contract, it's a commitment, and you gotta, you know, you gotta deal with it. You know, so you got people that's, you know, homesick, and then something that's like to an even way serious degree because you, you can't really, you know, do nothing about it. You know, only way you can go home besides, you know, if you have leave days, is if it's a um, immediate family emergency. You know, but you, but this is how you can. Um, deal with problems in the military. Deal with your uh mental problems in the uh, military. You got we got what's called chaplains or um trained to talk to you. And you everything that you tell them will be confidential. They wanna go telling your business to you know to anybody. They really can help you out and they really are trained to help you out and pray with you and meditate with you and um you know talk to you and everything. Like they, they, those people they've been doing Usually chaplains are like real veterans, like they've been there for years, for a long time. They've been doing their job for a long time, you know. So, um, uh, you got those, you know, you got, you know, account, uh, you can, you can, um, they kind of, they got, uh, they're connected to civilian counselors, counselors. So if you want to kind of like get away from people in the military or even authority in the military, you can always talk to civilian counselors, you know, um. And you got counselors in the military, um, counseling sessions and stuff, and you know services you can go to. Um, but what I will say, what I will say, um, is what I do is I, I do a lot of praying, you know, because I, like I said, I, um, I think I was getting into it when the video had stopped because somebody called me, is that I was going through it for a couple of days, uh, you know, just you know adjusting back to this new lifestyle and being away from home and. You know, because it didn't really hit me until I had to come back here from vacation because I was on vacation. I was living my life. I was having fun, you know, having fun, you know, seeing my friends and families and stuff. Just being around my family again was so fun, man. And I never forget those times. And it's like, now I'm back here for a, co for a couple of years. So one thing I do a lot is I pray a lot. I meditate. And I pray. That's all I, all I do is pray. And I work out. I work out to, you know, take my mind off of it. I work out every day every single day to not not to not think about it you know the people in the, the chaplains in the military everything you tell them is, is always safe it's always between y'all two they will never go telling your business out uh, or you know telling other people or anything everything it's all confidential between y'all two and yeah that's yeah that's one of the uh one of the options but like I said, before you before you think about getting to the military, don't just think about the benefits and especially the, especially in the Navy. Being on the ship, living on the ship ain't easy, you know. So think about think about everything, the cons too. Like damn, 
if I'm going on a, a nine-month deployment. I'm not saying don't join the military because the military has its benefits and it's paid off for me. I wouldn't be in the car I'm in right now if it wasn't for the military. No. I wouldn't I wouldn't have some of the stuff I got now if it wasn't for the military. I'm, so I'm I'm definitely grateful and I'm I i do not regret joining the military. But um Yeah, like I was saying like I was saying, uh, uh, to just think look at both sides, think of everything. Before y'all actually join, because when you go through boot camp, you're just thinking about getting through the basic instructions. And when you, when you, when you, a lot of the people that's you know, about that get ready to enlist is just looking at all the benefits. Like, oh, I can. They pay for most of my schooling. I can, um, most of my schooling. I can uh, travel, but you're not really thinking about what it's actually going to be like living on the ship, or being away from your family for months at a time, eh, and adjusting to a new lifestyle of, you know. Shit, some people can't even ha complain about simple, you know, simple stuff in the military, like not being able to grow a beard or even chin hair. You know, so it's it's just a lot of things, a lot of simple things that you got to get used to, you got to adjust to. So, yeah, y'all look at both sides of it and, and deal with mental, um, give us a mental problems. Just like I said, pray, exercise. You can always talk to the chaplains. They got the chaplains in the military. They got uh. You know, um, religious services you can attend, or services that um, you can attend that can help you out. You know, it's, and there's always people in the military you can talk to. It's, it's always is like military. Think about the military is it's a lot of diverse. It's a diverse group of people, people that come from all over the world, from different countries, places you never even heard of. You know, small towns and other places, and it's always gonna be somebody in there that you click with. I've I got plenty of close friends that I've made in, um, in the military. So it's, uh, it's always gonna be somebody that you'll be able to connect with. It's always gonna be somebody that you have things in common with that you can, that you will be able to bond with. Like it, it, it's gonna happen. Like it's, you come across so many people every day, and you will you will connect with somebody that you eventually you know be able to talk to, and they can uh give you some game and, and, and help you out. You know, so uh, that's that's how you can deal with it. I'm, I know I'm starting a lot in these this video. I got a lot going on with myself, a lot on my mind. But I was just just came up across my my brother recommended I make a video about this, and I definitely want to make a video about this, and I I got a lot going on too. Like I'm stuttering a lot. I don't know I usually don't stutter that much, but I got a lot going on too. So yeah, y'all, that's how you deal with it, y'all. If I got any questions, feel free to drop below in the comments. Y'all know I always answer and I always get back to y'all. All right, y'all, Burgess out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be back with another video very shortly. All right, y'all, Burgess out.